Luke chapter 16. In this chapter, we see some people that God is telling us, do not be like those people. And yet often, that's the type of person we want to be like. He tells this account of this man who's rich, wealthy, lives a life of luxury. He's sorted for life, but he's not sorted for death. There is then this poor man. He's not sorted for life, but he is sorted for death. Jesus isn't saying, if you're poor, you go to heaven. If you're rich, you go to hell. No, look what he says in verse 13. And this is the point. No servant can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will love the one and be loyal to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. That's our issue. We love money, don't we? We want to serve money. We want to get hold of money. But Jesus says, you can't serve two masters. You can't love money and love God. It's like being on a tug of war. You can't be pulling on one side and at the same time be pulling on the other side. You're on one or the other. And if you're on the wrong side, well, the consequences are serious. Look at this man. He's separated from God in torment. It's awful. And Jesus warns us that we need to be sorted out in life, serving him so that we're ready for death and then we can be with him. Just look at verse 15. Jesus says, For what is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of God. The things that we respect and think, wow, that's great. Got to give credit to that person because they are wealthy. They've made it. Well, Jesus says those things he doesn't value. His perspective is different. Notice this man who's in torment. What does he want? He wants his brothers not to come to the place. He wants them to repent and to turn and, and to go to heaven. But it's too late. He can't do anything about it. Jesus says and explains here, look, they have God's word. And also we have the miracle of Jesus coming back to life. We need to believe and obey. And look, if you are a Christian, why not make it your aim today to tell someone else about the Lord Jesus Christ so that they can go to that wonderful place rather than go to that terrible place.